Three weeks ago, we started on our most ambitious renovation project, the master suite, made up of a bedroom, a dressing room, and an ensuite bathroom and a hallway. Until now, it was all about demolition, but this week, the first constructive jobs are starting, and it feels so good. When it comes to electrics, I'm the one who makes decisions in this house. And that doesn't only mean that I decide where the plug sockets go, I also decide where the lights go and what kind of lights we have. And if Anna wants a different light or wants it somewhere else, I always make up an excuse why that would be technically impossible. And she can't say anything because she has no clue about electrics. Do you like this light? Do you think I should keep it? Oh! <gasps> ooh, ooh. Okay, you see there is a cable in there. I hope that I can find the end of the cable somewhere here, but now I, that I pulled, the chances to find it um, are even smaller. So, yeah. That was surprisingly easy. If you wonder, this ceiling is made in the old fashioned way with some wooden slats and then there's plaster on top of it. It's a nightmare if you have to take it off, it produces a huge amount of dust. Ideally, in an ideal world, I put my finger in and I can feel a cable somewhere. That's a cable, definitely a cable. If I could push it all the way down here. My fingers are too thick and I can't find my tool, so I asked Anna. You can't get it. So your fingers are not that smaller than mine after all. Yeah, they're definitely smaller than yours. Can you just make the hole bigger? Yeah. Yeah, do that. Oh, you have to fill it up then. Huh? Well, I have a lot of filling to do anyway, so. Yeah. If they, if they break, I have to, you know, make a lot of holes. I'm going to attach this light and thin wire to the old wire and if hopefully I manage to get this through, I can use this uh, to pull the big one, the real one through. Super fragile, I, I can tell if I bend this too much, it just snaps. I've attached this and, and now wish me luck. <laughs> to be careful not to drop it. <gasps> and now, I carefully pull here. I'm really happy. Here we come. Good. Good. Great. Great, great. And if you wonder why this cable is exposed, the reason is that Benoit is going to make cornishings, cornishings, cornish moldings in the corners. So they will be hollow inside and they will cover the cables. Okay, that's the inside of the cupboard. might have been straighter lines in the history of electrical trenches, but I'm sure it's fine. Look, look how easy it is now. Olivier 
our plumber has arrived. Philip is famously known for his waste pipe expertise, but we did need to bring in a professional to install all the incoming pipes. And now Philip has to explain to him why he needs to undo all the work he's done in the bathroom after we changed our minds about the layout. En fait, Olivier s'est trompé quand on a décidé où mettre les choses, il a tout mis en milieu. Et, et maintenant, bah, <laughs> voilà la pièce. Voilà. So I'm happy he wasn't too upset. Actually, no, he's never upset. He's, he's one of these really good guys who it's really hard to get him here because he's so busy. But if he comes, he always finds a solution. And it could have been so easy if he had made the right choices right from the beginning. We always change our minds. I think it's, it's mainly you. Oh, it's my fault. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, okay. Do you want to see something really beautiful? Yeah. Come. Oh, look at the... Look at this. Look at this beauty of a trench. Wow. It's not straight. <laughs> I knew you would say that. That's, that's so you. You can't say just it's beautiful and useful and efficient. You say it's not straight. It's not, it's not a matter of being straight. It's a matter of being deep enough to hide a cable. Well done. I'm proud. Yeah. You've done a great job. No, no. You, you, you ruined it. What? Have you seen that? Here. I, oh. I managed to get the cable in. Wow, yeah. there's a cable sticking out of the ceiling. Yeah, and the, the easiest, that was the easy one. Now we have to, the tough one is here again. Because here, we want a ceiling light, right? Yeah. And there was never a ceiling light, so I need to drill a hole and manage to get the cable all the way there. And unfortunately, the same here, there was never a cable in the ceiling. So I need to drill a hole, another hole, another hole, and you have to do a lot of filling. <laughs> I just realized I made the light switch here, but the door opens this way. Do you think it's a problem? Yes. Oh, what should I do? So this was for nothing? Yeah. No, really? Why did you do that? Ha! Yeah. I want to change the sense of the door because it's super annoying to come in and the door opens this way. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, I was thinking the door should open this way. But then you can't get into the yes. here. Yes, but I, I thought about that as well. But the, the annoyance and the compromise of having the door opening this side is bigger than the fact that when the door is open, you cannot open this little cupboard here. Okay. And also you come into a room, you want to open the door and discover the beautiful room. You don't want to open a door and then have to walk around and then see the door. Okay. Right? Yep. Fair enough? Good. So one little job more for Benoit to change the sense of the door, because he's going to be happy. And also it allows me here, it would have been weird to find a spot for the switch, so not good here, yeah, perfect. Good. Um, no, I continue. See you later. Oh, look at this beautiful specimen of a plug. Now, I have my plug socket here. Now, I need a plug socket up here for the shaver and for whatever electrical tools people need on their sink. This is, this is good. To be, to be sure this isn't a straight line, I have a trick which I want to share with you. You put a pen here and then you have to observe carefully. You drop it and I've seen it dropped perfectly in front of the other one. here this morning it's Wednesday which means the girls are off school and Benoit and Vincent have just arrived we're just trying to sort of tidy up because yesterday Philip was doing all the electrics and made a lot of mess and did not tidy up also we've just got our wood delivery so they're helping us to bring everything up at the same time of taking all the rubbish out I need to quickly try and strip a little bit of the base of the wallpaper along these walls here because Benoit and Vincent are going to start to make all of the panelling. 
So I probably should have done this yesterday, but I was doing other stuff. I was doing a Patreon video, so yeah. Sometimes like everything seems to be happening all on one day, so it's a bit of a rush, but it's really exciting. Lots is happening. Pas toujours que ça va tomber, c'est mal, mal fait. Je prends, comme d'habitude. Tu as dit 90 Oui. Si c'est 105, ça change Regardez, regardez. Qu'est-ce que ça pourrait Il a trouvé une pièce Trouvez une pièce Oh le gris Regarde les femmes Regarde Je vais te dire, hein What's this Ah, c'est une Lindauer. Une 5 centimes Lindauer. C'est quoi ça C'est une pièce française de la première guerre mondiale. De la première guerre mondiale Ouais, pièce trouée. Donc c'est de 1900. Et si je vends. regarde. Et si je vends ça, je peux acheter un bateau et avant de faire le bateau, on va peut-être en finir la caméra. T'as vu ma réponse là Je t'ai dit, quand on démonte les plantes dans les vieilles maisons, dans les vieilles maisons, on retrouve toujours des pièces. Alors après, peu importe l'époque, on s'en fiche. C'est les menuisiers C'est les, les menuisiers Non, non, c'est les gens qui sont, euh, je sais pas, ils font pas attention. Et bah, en ah, fait, il ouais. euh, bah, y a toujours, là j'en ai démonté une, tu vois, on va retrouver des petits boutons. Des fois, on retrouve des petits boutons de vêtements. We found out that Vincent is not only an excellent artisan, he's also a passionate metal detectorist. He offered to give us a crash course in metal detecting around the Chateau grounds. And if you're interested to see what incredible things we found within less than one hour, you should head over to our Patreon page to watch our newest Patreon only video. If you're not a patron yet, it's very easy. Go to patreon.com slash how to renovate a chateau. And starting from five euros a month, you get access to all our extra videos and regular live Q and A's. Becoming a patron is a great way to support our channel and our renovations. The link is also in the description below. So thanks a lot for checking it out. You can't tell me.